It's really there. I'll be a Venusian's uncle. It's really there. Um, do all Martians talk to themselves like you? Or just you? Hmm. What is it? Star? Moon? Oh, look where Mars is. Mars is deviating from its normal orbital course. It's only happened once before in history. Oh, well, what does it mean? I mean, it, it looks close. Very close. I'll tell you what it means. It means that within the next 18 hours, I can get back to her on my spaceship. Hmm. Well, bon voyage. Thanks. <laughs> Uncle Martin, are you serious? If I'm ready, first thing in the morning, I have 12 hours. 12 hours? My spaceship has just enough tension to make this flight. I don't believe it. Goodbye, Tim. Just like that. Just like that. Tim, you knew it had to happen someday. I'm a prisoner down here. Mars is my home. Home? Well, are you sure you can make it? I mean, your spaceship. As easy as going on your freeways. Easier. <laughs> There'll be no traffic in the interchanges. <laughs> Mars is in direct orbit. The skies are clear. I take off at dawn. in cheap, maudling, sentimental, earthling soap opera. The, the, how? All right, Uncle Mark, are you all right? <laughs> I must have turned my ankle out. <laughs> Here, help me off. I must have sprained it. Then you can't go. I can go. I can fly it with one foot. Come on. <laughs> I'm loaded with insurance. Now, don't make a move. I've got you covered. Please, Mrs. Brown. I don't want to be covered. I'm perfectly all right. I just turned my ankle. Tim, help me. Huh? Don't touch him. He shouldn't be moved. He's going to sue me. It says so in my policy. Please, Mrs. Brown. I have a very important appointment. Uh, 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 uh. I'm not going to sue you, Mrs. Brown. I, I, I'm perfectly all right. Tim, please, Mrs. Brown, let Tim help me. I, I'm on a time schedule. It's all covered in my policy. My time schedule is not covered in your policy. Uh, believe me, uh, he doesn't want to sue you. That's what you say now, but you just wait a couple of days. <laughs> What's that? Oh, ambulance, I called them. I'll be right back. I don't want them to miss our street. I don't want an ambulance. I, I don't... Please, Tim, you've got to get rid of them. Uh, they, they're, they're cutting in on my time. I've only got ten hours well, left. Well, disappear! I can't. Why not? Well, don't you think I've been trying? Here, watch. <laughs> See? What's the matter? I don't know. I can't get my antennas to go up. When I sprained my ankle, I must have pinched a nerve. You see, the nervous system is directly connected to the antenna. You pinched your nervous system. Get those things down. I thought you couldn't disappear. Remember when I tripped in the dark? I tripped on my own nerve. I'm better. You are. I mean, you are. Help me out of bed, but first check the corridor. Oh. Help me out of the bed. Easy now. Easy. Careful. Ow! Oh. Be careful of my ankle. It's still sore. The nerve is straight, but it's still sore. Here, here, here. Put me down in the chair. Ow! Oh. Now, get your car and meet me at the hospital entrance. You're still gonna go back to Mars? Of course. I've got two hours. Hurry. Get your car. I'll meet you. <laughs> I've got plenty of time. Good thing I remembered the telescope, because I couldn't make it through the canals without the telescope. <laughs> Tim, don't look so sad. I'll be back someday, and oh! Are you all right? Are you all right, Uncle Martin? Oh, my other ankle. <laughs> don't make a move! Not a move! Stay right where you are! <laughs> Right where you are, and don't you worry about a thing. I've got both ankles covered. I think they call that double indemnity. It's too late, Tim. I can't make it now. You'll come around again, Uncle Martin. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos.